I'm going to do a video on one particular gang that I mentioned before, only briefly. And this gang is the East Side Mafiosos. Hello everyone, once again this is Dare to Speak. Now there's not too much that I know about this gang other than my own one time personal experience with that um, fight that happened over in in this one uh, club called Collagens, which is no longer around. This happened during the 1990s in which there was a big fight between the Latin Kings and the East Side Mafiosos. For those of you who probably saw it, I did a video on that a long time ago. Milwaukee Street Gang History was the title of it, if I remember correctly. Anyways, um, I was talking to someone. Uh, you... I can't say who this person who this person is, but according to him, he's not in a gang anymore. But he told me that according to, according to what he knows, that the East Side Mafiosos originally used to be Latin Kings. They used to be in here in Milwaukee. And this was back during the time when, like the old school, when um, Hollywood, Carlos Hernandez, where he was shot in the leg by one of the original members of the East Side Mafiosos. That's when they became folks. They um, aligned themselves with folks. So I don't know how many there were, but for whatever the reason, um, they used to be Latin Kings and for, for whatever reason, they just wanted to, uh, become folks or whatever. And then I don't know too much of how or why that was again, like I think I didn't get that much information, but one of the people that, um, that formed it shot Hollywood right in the, in the leg and there was like a big, bloody fight that happened ever since then from the 80s and then uh especially the 90s from and especially from that one incident that i just told you so according to him he said there was about uh a lot of fights that uh they, they got into with them a lot of fights he didn't go into detail into as, as far as like anybody getting killed or anything like that. Um, but the thing about it is these people from, from what I understand, because I heard about them a lot during the 1990s, they, they were becoming very popular back then. They were very well organized from, from what I heard. So whether or not that's true, I guess it's open to debate. So honestly, I don't know. They were very, very, uh, very well known during the 90s. And I don't know too much about them ever since uh, that decade was over. I don't, I didn't really hear that much about them. But that's what I found out. So... I don't have any more information than that. 
there was this uh, girl that I know that knew the guys that actually started it. Uh, there was about, I don't know how many there were. There wasn't, there wasn't that many. But they started uh, the East Side Mafiosos, and they used to be Latin kings, according to her. She said the same thing, and then they just started recruiting, and as time went on, she said that those guys are stupid, they're they're punks, and, and stuff like that. So, so she didn't think highly of them. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Questions or comments, you know what to do. And this is Dare to Speak. And to all of you, take care.